Hello everyone. Welcome to PCCL Physics Chemistry. This video is the presentation of the oscilloscope. It is a device which measures voltages and in addition to the voltmeter, it visualizes them on a screen. The point you see there is the spot. It is green. The screen here is struck by an electron beam produced in sight by an electron gun, the cathode. For that, the device is called a cathode ray oscilloscope. It is an old version of oscilloscope. But these analog oscilloscopes are still numerous in laboratories. Now there are digital oscilloscopes that work differently but on the screen the principle is the same. So the electron beam that's there hits the screen. But keep in mind that this beam is not green. Electrons cannot be seen. What is green, in fact, is the light effect that occurs when electrons hit the fluorescent screen. They can be blue these spots. This one is green. Note that there are two deflection plates. The red terminal here is connected to the top plate. and the black terminal at the bottom plate. If we apply a voltage to the terminals of these plates, by connecting here. For example, these two wires, which come from the battery, we see that the spot has moved. But he didn't move much. So if we wanted to measure something we wouldn't have chosen the right range. So we are going to stretch a bit by changing ranges here and come up with bigger scale. If the spot comes off the screen, that's not a good idea. We cannot do anything. So, we go back to the largest range. With the spot visible of course. Here, 2 volts by division. The division is the side, here, of a square, so 2 volts by division, so I count 2 so far. 2 so far. That's 4. I would say we are measuring a voltage of 4.3 volts, little near. It is not very precise. The voltmeter, in this regard, is more accurate. But what happens if I reverse these two wires? That is, if I connect the plus to the lower plate. The spot is found in the bottom part of the screen, negative I would say. When there was no voltage, at zero volt, the spot was in the middle. Well if the plus of the battery is connected at the bottom, the electrons being negative they are deflected down. And that's why the spot came down. So the tensions can be positive or negative. Remember that. And the oscilloscope shows it. Earlier, we had the plus connected to this terminal, which is connected Therefore, I was saying it, at the top, and the spot was deflected upwards. When we have varying voltages, it will be interesting to see how the voltage varies over time. So for now, it does not vary over time, we see that we have a horizontal line, and we know it, the voltage of a battery is a DC one. It is not variable. If I reverse the battery terminals we also have a horizontal line. So how is this achieved?
Well, there is a sweep. The electron beam sweeps across the screen at a certain speed. And there is a range here, a scale. Here, the spot sweeps the screen. It takes 10 milliseconds to go through each division. There, it goes faster. It only takes 5 milliseconds per division and we can make it go even faster. Obviously, as for us the tension is continuous, here, it does not change anything. It will take C videos or interactive simulations on PCCL concerning variable voltages, alternatives, possibly sinusoidal. That's it for this video. Thank you.